Aloha, it's Kim Jolene with Finding Your Fiji, and I'm here doing your weekly angel forecast for the week of September 21st through the 27th. Wow, can't believe we're already at the end of September. I don't know about you guys, but this year has gone so fast and slow, right? Slow in aspects and very fast in others. Um, so kind of a crazy energy, but uh, super um, excited to share with you the messages from Archangels this week. So we are tapping into the Archangel Oracle, um, which is all Archangel energy. And I'll be sharing, you, sharing with you information from them on how to navigate this week with more ease and grace. That's what this is all about, right? First of all, though, we want to talk about the overriding energy for the week. Um, it could be a little bit challenging to start with. Um, so we have the Ace of Air coming in, which is about potentially challenging beginning, um, which I feel like when we're talking about a specific week, it could be um, a challenging beginning to the week, right? And it's also this energy of... Um, being open to ideas in new things. So I think sometimes we get sort of in an energetic rut and we continue to um, try to follow the same path that we've always been on or, um, and, and they talk about this in our brains as well, like those neural pathways um, get sort of ingrained. And in order to shake things up, you've got to do things differently, right? And so this, I, this this um, week is about grabbing on to those new ideas, those inspirations, those things that are going to sort of shake up your chi or shake up the energy, right? And this will also help you see things from a different perspective. Sometimes that's um, seeing things in a new light or seeing things from someone else's vantage point, right? Um, it just helps bring the truth, like the, it helps bubble the truth to the surface when you shake up your chi, right? Uh, so when you do things a little bit differently, um, yeah, it just things bubble to the surface and then you're able to see the truth of the situation. So that's the overriding energy uh, for this week. And then I'm going to be using this deck to get a little bit more guidance from the archangels for you for this coming week. And I should say for us, because this is for all of us. This is a universal reading. I used to, those of you that have followed me for a long time know that I used to do the Zodiac readings for all the signs every month. Um, I did that for four years and uh, got guided, you know, within this last year to stop doing that. Um, it was very much a lot of time and energy going into that. And then they guided me to do these um, quicker readings as well, um, or instead, I should say, rather. Okay, let's see who we've got coming in. Well, this is interesting. We've got Archangel Raziel, really strong energy. He's coming in with two messages for you. And then also Archangel Michael is coming in um, for you. So we have um, Clairvoyance coming in with Archangel Raziel. And this is about um, clearly seeing right? Um, seeing the light around you, seeing the love, um, seeing the, the positive aspects of the people and the things that are happening, people around you and the things that are happening this week. So Archangel Raziel is really encouraging you to, to tap into your heart, right? Whenever you have a question about something or you're maybe struggling to communicate with love, um, and with grace to just put your hand on your heart and allow your heart to be the guide for you. If you need to step back before you respond to somebody, that's a really, really good thing to do to kind of do your inner work before you uh, come back and respond. That's a really, really good idea. Um, but putting your hand on your heart also helps you feel the love from non-physical. So we have a whole host of non-physical beings that are there to support and assist us and who love us. This can be loved ones that have passed. It can be our spiritual team of angels, of guides. It can be archangels, ascended masters. There's lots of uh, different energies in non-physical that are there to support and assist us. And it's always the beings of the highest you know, highest light that we want to call in. And so asking them uh, to support you in finding the words, for example, if you're needing to have a difficult difficult conversation. Speaking of words, you are going to need to uh, speak your mind potentially this week. Uh, this is Archangel Raziel again coming in with uh, own your power, right? Take your power back. 
And this is about speaking your truth. This is about doing the things that light you up. Please, if you get an invitation to something or get invited to do something or get asked to do something and it does not feel like a full body yes, like you're not super excited about doing it, please don't, right? Don't do anything that doesn't make you feel better or make you feel good, right? Just not a worth it to waste your energy on that. So this, this week is about taking your power back and using that power to manifest the things that you want in your life. And again, it's a co-creative effort. So you're not doing this by yourself. You have help, right? Um, and so ask for that assistance and that guidance as well to help you manifest those things that you really desire. Because if you have the desire, you absolutely have the ability to manifest it. Okay? No ifs, ands, or buts about that. If you have a desire, you have the ability to manifest that in your life, right? And to co-create it, to bring it in. Okay. So I'd love to hear, put in the comments below, what are you manifesting now? What is, what is your greatest desire in this moment? I'd love to hear that. Put it put a note in the comments and that, you know what, the, the other thing about the comments is it really does help me like keep going because oftentimes when I'm doing these, I'm obviously kind of doing them in a bubble because I'm not speaking to anyone directly as I'm doing the recording. And then if nobody comments at all, I'm like, okay, is anybody even watching this? Right. Um, so I really do so greatly appreciate your comments your likes, your shares, all of that kind of stuff. I really do appreciate it. It helps me keep going. That's the basic um, reason that I enjoy that. Okay. And then we have Archangel Michael coming in. This is about clarity. So being super duper clear on what it is that you want. So when we talk about these desires, um, don't be wishy-washy about it. Like what is it that you really want? And stating that aloud is really great. Writing it is awesome. If you have somebody that is supportive of your dream, sharing it with that person is really a great thing to do as well. You can share it with me in the comments below, right? Um, those desires. And I will support you and hold space for you in fulfilling that. Um, I love the, the message or sort of the prayer that he brings in around this. So I'm going to read that for you. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith, with unwavering faith. So focus on it as if it's already been created and it has, right? Everything that you want has already been created. It's just up to you now to get out of the way, to let go of resistance, to allow it to come to you, okay? Beautiful messages this week. I love that. Have an amazing week. Much love and aloha.